I'll get in so much trouble. Yeah, maybe we can just figure something out tomorrow? Oh, come on. Why do you have to be so lame? Let's just go now. It's seriously almost 1 a.m. and I'm already gonna get in so much trouble. So what's the difference then? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we really need to go. It's late and... <laughs> Whatever, dude. Don't worry about it. So lame. Okay, yeah, you know what? Maybe we are lame. And don't argue with them. Let's just leave. I wasn't gonna go anyways. You know they're only after one thing. <laughs> yeah. Guys are pigs. First off, Mikael, I told you not here. Not in my office. I thought we understood each other. I hear you know like my business. But I'm paying, I don't understand. Five women. Uh, excuse me. Three young teenagers and two 20-year-old women were abducted from my city by your thugs. I have high demands. I'm Needed. You don't need shit. You don't understand. I have to answer for this. The chief and I were taking too much heat because you didn't keep your promise. Maybe business will slow down. Maybe I won't need so many for a while. Yeah, sure. Listen, I will do what I do, no matter if you take the money or not. What would you do? Go to the police? You don't get it, do you? You're leaving me no choice. I think it's good for me. It's good for you. Maybe I slow down. Maybe I go to the suburbs a little. Oh, yeah, sure. This is no need to start with business. And I know. You like my candy too, eh? Let's we think on this. Still out for dinner? This year's it. You're crazy. Yeah, you know, I think they have two or three good years left before they're done. No. Yeah. No way. Excuse me. They found another body in the dumpster. Damn. Getting bad out there. The coroner's bringing her in. How old? Do they even know? No, but she's uh, young, under 30. Alderman needs to take a strong public stand on this. Yeah. All right, let's get to work.
Hey! Before you leave, we need to check your sleeves. No one cleans us out like that. I want fair and square. Is that so? Let's see those sleeves. Listen, Brickhead, you and your dumbass friend lost. Now you could either lose again, right here and right now, or you could walk away. You must think I'm some kind of pussy, huh? Last warning. Fuck you! Did your mother ever tell you not to point? Now, you have a choice. Learn from your friend, or make the same mistake. Talk to him. That move. Next time you guys have a poker game, work on your hospitality. Wow. This is amazing. Well, we see each other so infrequently, I thought this time should be special. And your mother would be very happy to see you with this. And, uh, you know, since you're my only daughter, you're all I got left. You have the city, Dad. And that's your true baby and you know it. Well, I got a lot of responsibilities. It's different. I understand. I can't even imagine how much you have on your plate. Yeah, there's a lot on my plate. But how about you? How you doing? I don't know. I'm more the same. Or whatever. Hey. You'll find your calling. In due time. Well, let's hope so. I'll bet on it. Uh, I gotta get up early tomorrow. What about you? Yeah. Are we still on for breakfast Friday? Yes. Yeah, we are. So, do we have the money? Yeah. yeah, of course. Clean it on mark. Great. I appreciate it. Thanks. And listen, I'm gonna shut down the Russians. You should let me take care of the oh, Russians. Listen, I cannot afford to have a gang war in my city. You see? And uh, I can't take care of you if there is one. It won't be a war. Please trust me on this, okay? If you say so. Good, a few anonymous tips. He'll be in prison, maybe in less than six months, for a long time. I really hate you. You have flawless taste, miss. Thank you. Who made it? A young artist. He has a lot of depth and soul in his work. J.B. Davies? Never heard of him. Mm, he's up and coming. I'm sure. How much is it? This particular piece is only $2,800. I'll take it. Three in a month, and we pretty much have nothing. I know. I've never seen anything like it, ever. You finding anything? No, nothing yet. No. This could be a homicide. I don't know. But she sure didn't do this to herself. Oh no, 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 no. But you know, 
She's been on heroin for at least a year, according to the hair follicle test we did. Okay, so what does that have to do with me? I need your help, Wolf. I can't have the cartel and the Russians both picking our girls up off our streets. I shouldn't have either. I understand, Mike. But, uh, you know, it's a big city. I can't control everything. Is that so? But I've made a decision. So what do you want from me? Like I said, Mikhail and his Ruskies, they're out of control. <laughs> I see. Uh, keep me posted. Wolf, don't judge me. <laughs> You're no choir boy. No, no, I am not. The mayor has asked that I not do business with you anymore. Fuck the mayor. I wish it was that easy. It is, unless you're afraid of him. No, Mikhail, I'm not afraid of the mayor. It's not about that. It's just that he can make our lives a lot easier if... I can make his life easier or harder, too. I'm sure you can, but... But, no but. You want business or not? I don't have a problem with you, Miguel. I thought we could talk like men. All he wants you to do is respect the rules. Fuck the mayor. Fuck his rules. Well, why don't we do that? Hmm? Fuck the mayor. Fuck his rules. Fuck me. Fuck you. He's just as dirty as you or I. Whatever. You're right. It's your decision. But I want you to know that I'm with you, Mikhail. But I also want you to know that I am not going down with you. Am I clear? It's what I like about you, Stone. You are always... Very clear. So wanna go there? Yeah, I'm a grown ass woman. I don't need to ask permission. I know, but still. Look, I get what you mean, but Foxtrot is the hot spot right now. You know what it is. I know, it's not the kind of place the mayor's daughter should be hanging out at. Oh, come on. We can always go to Grasshoppers. How about we go to Foxtrot? And if it isn't on fire, then we go to Grasshoppers. You know it'll be on fire, and you're gonna get in trouble. You only live once. Yeah, you're right. Find her. You sure about this? Okay. I need you to trace someone for me. Okay, name? Marie Alderman. Oh shit, that's funny. Okay, a real name? Marie Allison Alderman. You're serious? I am. I'm gonna have to sit this one out. Daryl, it's too risky. Maybe you wanna take that up with Mikhail? All right, I'll trace her. But you should really try to talk some sense into him, huh? Not my job. All right, whatever you say, man. Just get it done.
What? She's at the club. Hey, can we get to Johnny Vegas? You got it. Hey, you should go sit down. Okay. Alright. That'll be 30. Some me, Marco. Thank you, but we can pay for our own drinks. Trust me, it's no problem. Okay, then. Thank you. Why don't you come with me? You're either in or you're out. It's not that easy! Oh, it's not? Let me make it easier for you. Motherfuck! Hey girl, what's up? Are you out? Yeah, at Foxtrot with Marie, why? You mind if I join you? No, not at all. Okay, cool. See you in a few. So? What do you do, if you don't mind me asking? This... This is mine, the, the club, and uh, I have some other investments. Um, Sandra just called. She's on her way. Did you want to go wait for her by the bar? You can always come back here. Bring your friend. Thank you. Hello? Hey. Remember the girl we had in here? The heron girl, the runner? Uh, yeah. Well, we found something. It wasn't murder. I mean, I guess it was, but it wasn't intentional. What? When can you come in here? I want to show you. Uh, on my way. I cannot believe that we just hung out with him. In his booth, too. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's hope no pictures surface of this one because I will never hear the end of it. We don't really know if all that stuff they say about him is true. I guess. <sighs> I so needed to get out. Just drink it. I'm sorry. That's a bummer. It's fine. It's just... You know, it, it should have ended a while ago. Well, let's get you a drink then. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> I'm glad you can come so quickly. No problem. So what did we find? Well, I received some more information on uh, girl number one. Angela, was it? Yes. Well, it turns out she wasn't always an addict. Or I should say, she wasn't one for very long. So the overdose was a cover-up? Much worse. Worse? I mean, the heroin that killed her wasn't even injected. I mean, it wasn't even supposed to kill her. What do you mean? Take a look over here. See this? See the shadowing over here? Mm hmm Well, she had heroin bags implanted inside her. And the only thing I can think of is one, you know, one must have leaked. And that's, I, you know, I can see it on the kidneys here. Take a look. Oh. 
So I went back and I looked at the other girls and although nothing's confirmed yet, they most likely died in a similar fashion. A slow leak, you know, just enough to kill them. And then these, these bastards, they just harvested the bags and discarded the bodies. I'll be damned. This changes everything. They were drug mules. Exactly. We just can't seem to pin him for anything. But it's fine that we're in the same building as him right now. <laughs> for sure we're safe, right? Yeah, I mean, as long as you stay away from his booth. Besides, if he tries anything, I'll kick his ass. That is why we're best friends. Sandy, we need to talk. There's nothing left to talk about. What the hell? You act like this is all on me. You said you needed a break. So I gave you one. Permanently. That's because I'm always playing second fiddle to your fucking job. Oh, really? You knew what you were in for dating me. I mean, you knew exactly what you were getting into. You knew what I did for a living? Yeah. And I didn't know how consumed you would be by it. <laughs> I think you need to go. No, well, should I? Are you allergic to spending time with your boyfriend? Ex-boyfriend. You know what? Fuck you anyways. Okay, buddy, take a walk. This ain't none of your fucking business. I said walk. Okay, asshole. Let's go. Who the hell was that guy? I don't know, but you seen him with Mikhail earlier. I'm just gonna make sure nothing bad happens. Oh, I'm coming with. Wait for me, guys. Cool if I let you go? Yes. Yeah? Yes! Alright. Stop it! Stop it! Do it. You need to calm down. Fucking touch me. How oh, you want to say anything? That was pretty fucking stupid! Hey, are you okay? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, you? Don't worry about me. Okay. Where's Marie? I don't know. Is that your friend? Yeah, did you see where she went? No, it was, was kind of busy. Maybe she went back in. Maybe. Hey. Hey. Sorry I missed your call. I'm at Foxtrot. Yeah, I'm just leaving the morgue. Another one? No. But new information. These girls were likely used to smuggle drugs. What? Yeah, they were drug mules. Wow, that's crazy. I... But hey, I, uh, I have a bit of a situation here. Uh, Brad came, made a scene, started a fight. You what? Long story, but I also managed to lose Marie in this mess, so... If you don't mind picking me up. Yeah, sure, I'll be there in 20. Cool, thanks, bye. So, to what do I owe for this pleasure? I'm pretty sure you know why I'm here. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't like to assume things, Carlos. The Russian is getting shit down. 
And I know you have high-level clients that will need service when that happens. The Russian is getting shut down. Is that so? Carlos, have you ever met Mikhail? No. I don't see how that has anything to do with anything. You haven't met him. That's why you don't see. Mikhail isn't wired like the rest of us. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Pretty soon he won't be wired at all. I assure you, you're not the first to say that. And yet, he's still here. In Chicago, I wiped people like him off the streets until I was mine. Carlos, this is Detroit, not Chicago. Things are different here. I came here to extend an offer, not to listen to you defend the Russian. I'm not defending the Russian. I'm making sure you have some idea of what you're getting yourself into. Guess you'll go down with him then. Carlos. <sighs> Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Last chance. Switch now or hang on to the Russian and be done. I believe you already asked that question. Down goes Frasia. Hey, there you are. I still can't find Marie. That's weird. She wouldn't just leave us like this. I know. Well, someone had to have seen where she went. I mean, maybe she did leave. She would have said something. <laughs> Settle down or we have to put you back to sleep. What do you want? Money? I have money, please. Let me go. Shut up. No, please. No, no, no. no. Charge her up slowly. Okay. She's not for play, Karpov. I understand. She's worth too much. And fuck it up. Yes? Uh, that detective is still here. She wants to go through the club after we close. Better, we have nothing to hide. All right, I just wanted you to make the call. If we cooperate, it's better. All right. some money yet. <laughs> I don't get it. She's She's not answering her phone. She's not here. Look, I'm really sorry, but I'm sure she just left with some guy. Trust me, it happens all the time. Well, here is my card. Call me if you 
Find anything if she turns up? Sure thing. Hey, I assume those work? Yeah, they should. Do you have them all around? Yeah, we got pretty good coverage. I'd like to see the footage. Of course, but not tonight. Unfortunately, Mikhail is the only one who has access to the security room. I'd like to set that up as soon as possible. Yeah, I'll give him a call. You ladies have a good night. You too. Duh. We got a problem. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. Did you get any messages from my daughter this morning? No, no, sir. Um, let me double check the voicemail. Thanks. Sir? Yes? Nope, no message. <sighs> Mayor Alderman's office, Mrs. Moore speaking. Hi, it's Sandra. Wait, it's Sandra Miller. Marie's friend. Is Donald in? Uh, yes, um, are you with Marie? No, that's why I'm calling. Okay, um, hold on. Mayor Alderman. Yes? It's, uh, Sandra on the phone for you. Sandra? Yes, Marie's friend, Sandra Miller. Oh, okay, thanks. Hello. Hi, it's Sandra. Have you seen her talk to Marie today? Sandra. No, uh, we were supposed to have breakfast this morning, but she didn't show up. Yeah. I, I don't know what to do here. I, we, we kind of lost track of each other at Foxtrot last night. Foxtrot? You mean Kovalchuk's place? Yes. Whose idea was that? <sighs> Sir, it wasn't my call. I showed up later. I'm sorry. No, just what else were you going to say? Well, she just vanished. I don't like this. I know. Neither do I. I'm heading over to Foxtrot at 11 to go over surveillance videos to see if I can find anything. Let me know of anything you find. I'm still hoping it's nothing, but... So do I. But... <sighs> Never mind. You. What? Where am I? Just relax so I can check you out. No! Listen, you're gonna do what I say. I can make your life very unpleasant if you don't listen. Am I clear? Michael said careful with this one. Are we clear? <laughs> Settle down! Calm down, or I put you to sleep again. Why are you doing this? I, I have money. I can get all kinds of money, please. You don't need to do this. Good night.
No, as of right now, we don't have anyone in custody. But we're working several leads. Excuse me, Mayor Alderman, sir. What are you doing to combat this epidemic? We have a task force that's uh, being led by two of our very best detectives. And we have four, four very good officers supporting them. Excuse me, I hear another body turned up. Can you confirm that? Uh. Yes. Unfortunately, we've been told about uh, the finding of a, a woman's body, and yet uh, at this moment, we have no more information. Okay, last question. There are rumors surrounding a certain individual who both attended and donated to your charity at your last event. The rumors involve this person having ties to these disappearances. Mr. Mayor, are you aware of any ties? Well, this is news to me. Um, I just want you to know, I, I won't turn down any office to my, to my charity. But to uh, answer your question, the facts are that, no, there's, there's no, no evidence of any of our donors in any way being associated to these abductions. All right, listen, I appreciate your questions, but I have to go. I will let the chief take over. Thank you. That's a good boy. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. All right, you heard the mayor. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. You did good. Trust me. We're putting in the resources. We will get to the bottom of this. Thank you for your time. Detective, I apologize, but it seems like our uh, cameras weren't working properly last night. They weren't working properly? Sometimes they short and we have to reset for them to work properly again. Huh. I mean, you, you do realize how bad that sounds. Someone's missing. Last seen at your club and the security system's conveniently off. Look, the surveillance system is to protect my property, not to catch women leaving the club with men leaving their friends behind. Are you saying she left with someone? What else? I don't know. But it's not like Marie to just vanish. If you know what it's like Marie, maybe you shouldn't work the case. You're very confident. I bet, I bet you think you're smarter than all of us. That you'll get away with this. But your days are numbered. Is there anything else I can help you with, detective? I think I have everything that I need. See the detective out. I, I can show myself out. Hey. Hey, what's up? What? He has no footage from outside the club. He said the cameras sometimes glitch. And I take you don't buy that. <laughs> Not for a minute. He was enjoying it. I want to put this fucker away. I hear you. You have to be careful. One screw up and he could walk. Yeah, I know. Well, I need to tell the mayor. Okay. Yeah. 
It hasn't been that long, Mayor. I still remember not having to lock our doors when I grew up. Please. This reality is now. And it's not happening just here, it's happening everywhere. I don't care about everywhere else. I care about here. I understand, sir. Do you? My daughter's best friend is missing. She's been gone for over two weeks, and she's not the only one. What's it gonna take? Listen, sir. I've activated a task force with a specific focus on trafficking, and it has my full support. The two detectives. How is that gonna change anything? Each of those officers are the very best. And together, believe me, they're much better than none. And they have the support of four, four experienced officers who also have the support of our full force. Please. That's not good enough. We're losing our daughters here, sir. Good. You'll have to excuse me. I, I have to take care of some other business. Please. Look at these girls. Look at them. What is it going to take? Does it have to be one of yours for you to take this seriously? I am sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. But I think the Russians took her. What? It's just too many things not adding up. Look, I'll update you with more details, but... After meeting with Mikhail and finding out that the outside footage is missing from a perfectly good surveillance system, I've determined that it's likely them or they're in on it. Listen, Sandra. You have to find her. You know what these animals... You know what these animals do to girls. I know. I'm on it. I'm sorry, sir. Just find her. That's her. Well, she's not blonde. Look, blonde. It's colored. Her roots are dark. For $10,000, you don't get genuine blonde. You know this. No, but seriously, we talk no, about... What? We'll take her. Do you have any higher-end girls? Maybe younger? Of course. How young? Teens, virgins, uh, let's say $100,000. I'm sure we can find something you like. Get this one ready. Let me see what else we have. <laughs> You're sure it's him? Who else? And even if he didn't, I'm sure he's connected. I'm certain. Any chance he'll give her up if he has her? I doubt it. Maybe just to save his own skin. Uh, if I go poking at Mr. Stone, I need backup. It's uh, a higher risk engagement, so to speak. Whatever you need. It's my daughter, for Christ's sake. Enough to at least get someone to wash my back. Ideally, two. But it's not going to be cheap or easy to find them. Like I said, whatever you need. If I had about a quarter, I'd be set. You got it. All right. Well, let me make a few calls and, uh... Don't worry. I'm on it. Good. Good. Hey, you. Come here. Yet. 
please. Please talk to me. We both noticed each other at the club. Notice each other. Yeah. Just help me out of here and uh, I'll take care of you. That's not going to happen. Let me out of these for a little bit. Why? So I can show you. Show me what? I have a thing for tough guys like you. Better. Better. So show me. Don't be stupid, Marie. Be good. Or you will end up dead in a ditch after they all take a turn on you. Karpov! Duh. Don't fuck this up. Or I swear, I will have Mikhail use you as shark bait next time he goes fishing. What? And keep your little warm in your pants, okay? Hey, ball. Come on the pocket. You hustled me, and I ain't paying nobody to play me. Listen, never touch my clothes. In fact, never touch me, period. Am I clear? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now use your other hand and give me my money. What can I get for Talk to me. I need you. And his opponent, you all know him, still undefeated, a man who goes by one name only. Here is Alpha! Again, a man who goes by one name only. Here is Alpha! <laughs> Gentlemen, center. Move the rules of the locker room. There are no rules. Separate.
Can we subpoena the video cameras and see if they were tampered with? We can. We should. Yeah. I just don't understand how they could have snatched her right from under your nose. It must have been in the commotion with Brad. You know, I saw Kowalczyk leave with one of his goons in a van. It's a windowless white van. All right. Uh, we can check gas stations with road views on either side, see if we can get a plate. Or stake it out, see if it comes back. Yeah, we could stake out the club and see if it pops up again. Yeah. Let's check in with Chief. Good idea. Let's go. Hey, Chief. Yeah? We have something. All right, talk to me. We should be able to subpoena the video with a search warrant. Let me see if I can get Judge Reinhold on the phone. Also, I saw a white windowless van leave the scene. Can we put it on APB? Why don't you stake the place out and see if they come again? Let's do both. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Chief. Yep. All right, I'll check the park and let you check the club. Okay. Sorry I was so short last night. The boss wasn't very nice. It's fine, I understand. And uh, thanks for stepping in with Brad. It's okay, just doing my job. Can I buy you a drink? Uh, sure. So, how did you end up with these guys? What, how did I end up with the owner and the crew managing this bar? You know what I mean. It's a good gig. Mikhail, he, he looked after me for a while. He was friends with my dad when he passed, and my mom, she OD'd a few years earlier, so I was on the streets fending for myself. And when he found out, he took me in. Now he's using you. Your chief uses you like any boss uses an employee. What's the difference? You're smarter than that. You know the difference between right and wrong, and a false sense of loyalty has you working against who you are. What do you want me to say? How I feel stuck, or I regret crossing to the dark side, or how I live in fear? Something like that? I'm gonna tell you something. There's no dark side. There's no light side. It's just shades of gray. Well, I'd like you on my side. Shade of gray. You seem like a good man. No? Is that about it, detective? I guess so. It's on the house, by the way. Anything? Thing. You? Not a... Hey, the business. This is as good as always. That detective... She came by again. Don't worry about her. If I'm not, they just left. Karpov, go check if they're still here. They left. Check anyways. Alright. What the hell? 
what did she say? I don't think they have anything, but she seems pretty determined to see who took her. The baggage will be gone tomorrow. It's good. Bro, Bazalevitz, welcome. Hey, you, wake up. Razni, stavai. Fuck you. I was trying to be nice. First question, did you take Mayor Alderman's daughter? I took your mother. <coughs> I'll ask you one more time. Did you take the mayor's daughter? Fuck you. Is that the best you've got? <laughs> what do you think I'm a cop? You think I have rules? Cash. I'm not talking. Where's the fun in that? <sighs> Fuck you. Now screw back. We're not finished yet. Where is she? In your mother's bed. After I fucked them both. We needed the rest. This guy's a little dirt bag. Level two. <laughs> Level two. Now I'm scared. I can't find them. What do you mean you can't find him? I mean, I can't find him. He's not here. Oh, what do we got here? 
Hello? Who is this? I'm just babysitting this phone. Who are you? Listen, motherfucker. You put Karpov on the phone right now. Okay. Hey, Karpov. He had a phone call. I think it's your boss. I'm all right. Don't worry about me. Actually, he's not doing so hot. Look, I will find you. When I find you, I will cut you up into little pieces, you pe Hey! Shut up and listen for a second. What do you want? Simple. I trade you one barely alive Russian piece of shit for the mayor's daughter. What? Better hurry it out. It's not gonna be alive much longer. Fuck you. You can have him. I have lots of Karpovs. I think he just got fired. <laughs> so you're just gonna let them kill him? He's as good as dead. But he's not dead yet! He is already dead! What the fuck are you looking at? smarter than that. Is that hurt? Yeah, it looks painful. You know, I wonder how long it would take you to bleed to death. I'd say five hours, maybe six. Without help, without care, you're a dead man. Well, what do you want from me? <gasps> Where's the mayor's daughter? School, I don't know. I have no idea what you're talking about. me with your hands on top of your head. Just give me the little 
location. It'll be over. I'm bleeding now. I'll be gone soon anyway. I can fix that. See? Now we have time. We just went from hours left. To several days, maybe even weeks. But if I get the address, put a bullet in your head and it's over. Yeah, a big part of me really wants you to reveal it. But the other part of me is curious. How long will you last? Hey, pretty elaborate, isn't it? So what do you say? Address or this? I am curious, so I don't mind giving this a try. Oh, strong sound of tape. Okay. Cash. A little taste. You already know I won't talk so it's in this. No, 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 no. Don't you see? That's the beauty of this. You decide how much pain there will be. I offered you a way out. <laughs> Look at me. Okay, get two for one. Ready for a detective. Don't you fucking touch me, pig. Did you radio your location? Fuck you! You fucking touch her! You're already dead and you don't even know it. Fuck you! <laughs> Did you radio your location? Don't you fucking die! Let's relocate. You better not be alive. Look at you. You two have chosen more wisely. Carlos. Nice to see you, Carlos. It's not too late. Join me. And I let you go. No? Get you out of here. 
Everything's good out there? Yeah, they're just getting the bodies out of the way. So they're out there now? No, I think they're dumping. Okay, let's hope that's it and no more are coming, right? Yeah, man, no shit. <laughs> Listen up. These bastards will be locked and loaded on their home turf. Watch your sixes. We work together as one. Hell yeah. Teamwork. Yeah, there's no iron team. Simplify. That's right. Move the other girls. We need to get out of here as soon as possible. Okay, boss, where are you going? We need to take care of things. Remember, they can be off Ivy's for maybe an hour before they start clearing up, okay? See you at backup. If you see Daryl, I want him alive. I can't do this. We're not gonna turn you in. No. See, I don't think I could stand in Mikhail's reach. I gotta do this the only way I know how. W what do you mean? I gotta face him. That, that's suicide, Daryl. Turning myself in is suicide. Come on. We have we have programs. That... Sandra, you know what I mean. You know how our world works. I'm going to be looking over my shoulder for the rest of my life. I got a feeling I'm going to be short-lived. Sandra? Can't they help him? Yeah. He's right. I hate to say it, but he's right. your loyalty? Don't you fucking talk to me about loyalty after you let them kill Karpov. He was already dead. Do you really think they would let him go? You should have traded. We would all be dead. Listen to me. I'm out. Okay? What do you want? My blessing? I want your word that if I help you take these guys out, I don't have to look over my shoulder for the rest of my life wondering if I'm gonna be at the receiving end of your gun. Okay. Deal. I trust you. Time I go see this mayor. Okay. I'll check on Stone.
They're on their way. Good. How you feeling? I don't feel so hot. You? I feel sick. Drained. Where is she? Marie. Oh. Marie. Yeah. Sweetie. Sweetie, I'm here. Are you okay? Oh, poor baby. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. How... How is it? Are you in pain? Sweetie, are you, you okay? Is it... Oh, God. Did we get them yet? No, not yet. They're on their way. Yeah? I can put every one of those fuckers in jail for the rest of their life. But I want you to take him out. Do you understand? Do you understand? Chief. Really like to be there. No, Sandra, not an option. Sir, they killed my partner. And I'm not losing you both tonight. You're recovering. You go home, rest. I thought you go to the hospital, but I know better. Go home. I'll keep you updated. Hey, can we get out of here? Yeah, but she's been drugged. She needs to be examined. I know, I know. She's got a doctor coming to the house. Don't worry. She needs some help. Listen, you just take him out. And I hope that's all she needs. Cash, how you feeling? Oh, man. I don't like this at all. Feels like we're just sitting ducks out in the open. Just breathe. Just keep breathing. Truth. Dr. Spellman said he'd be here in a few minutes. I feel sick. It's the drugs. You're probably gonna have a few rough days. But you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. I just wanna wake up from this nightmare, Dad. I understand. Hey. You're a champ. That's the duck. Oh. How dare you fuck with me? What are you doing? What are you doing? You bring in the cartel? What, they pay you more? What are you talking about? You tell me everything you know, and you tell me nothing. No, Don't, you know the police are coming here. You can't stay here. I Why are you here? No. It's fuck. <laughs> Don't you dare. You. Now you tell me no. everything, or I will fuck her right in front of you, and I will tape your eyes open, so you have to watch. No, please. Please don't! Tell me. <laughs> Last one.
you anymore. I can get you out. I can stop them. I can, I can shut down the cartel. I can stop the police right now. You and her. You gotta save yourselves. I can help you right now. Don't. I convict you of treason. to get Marie back safely. Well, you're too late. She's at home with her father. That's good. You mind if I verify that? Go right ahead. Keep those guns down. I'll be fine. I never trust you again. Sounds like you are out the bullets. I count nine. Sounds like you don't have any more either. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. <laughs> okay. I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> Let's settle this. You're done. It's over. The cops are on their way. It's done. You can't shoot a non man. Yeah.
drink. Sounds good.